Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is the day after Wrecked Store Day, and I wanted to make a video showing what I got or didn't get, and uh, just kind of my overall experience for Wrecked Store Day 2023 in April. So, for a while I've been talking about the John Lennon box set, it uh, has 1,500 copies, and I didn't think I was going to get it this year because I pretty much called every record store within two hours of me, um, two different states, <laughs> pretty much, and um, none of them said they had it. So that was kind of unfortunate. So I stayed local. I didn't travel to any record store far away from me. I just kind of stayed local. There was one participating record store about 15 uh, minutes away from me, and uh, they were probably going to have the, a small uh, selection. So I decided to go there. Um, they said they were going to open at 9, I got there around 8, 15 or so, and then they opened up the doors early around 8.30 anyway, so I was probably like 6th in line or something like that, so nothing too crazy, uh, crazy there, and then I saw what they had, they didn't have the John Lennon box set, um, but they had a Red Rose Speedway, didn't have the Ringo Starr uh, LP or CD, so... I did get one thing, or I did get two things from there, but none of them were those albums. Um, I have a record store that I usually go to when I'm back home. So I called, I ordered the uh, Paul McCartney Wings, uh, Red Rose Speedway, and the Ringo Star uh, Stop and Smell the Roses albums from them, since I have good connections with them and everything like that. So I currently don't have those records with me to show, but I did pick them up. And the only thing I would probably like to have is maybe find a CD if uh, of Ringo Starr's uh, Stop and Smell the Roses, if that uh, ever comes up. But I did get one Record Store Day release from the record store, and I decided to pick up uh, the Rolling Stones' uh, Beggar's Banquet with the uh, original artwork on the cover, so I thought that was kind of neat. I enjoyed the album. I have an original uh, U.S. pressing. But uh, I thought I'd pick this one up. I saw some videos on it. Um, so here's the poster. And then the uh, the album color, is uh, the, the record color, is pretty cool as well. So I think that's one of the few reasons why I picked this one up. It just looks really nice. With the, uh, in the original uh, artwork, I decided to pick this one up. And then while I was waiting in line, I noticed on kind of like their wall behind all their used records, they had a Sgt. Pepper's kind of off in the distance. And uh, yes, I got another Sgt. Pepper. And um, it is an original master recording. And um, they had a 25% off all used um, deal going for Record Store Day. So I actually got this for a nice two-digit price, which I was very happy of. So I kind of thought like this would be, you know, comparable instead of getting the John Lennon box set. I got a nice uh, copy of Sgt. Pepper for a good price. So here's the back and the gatefold. Everything's in really nice shape. Comes with the uh, original master recording kind of insert here. And this one is uh, the 1983 uh, remastered of Sgt. Pepper. So there's the label. And again, this uh, record is in pretty much near mint shape. To get it for a, uh, a two-digit two price, I was extremely happy with that. And I just can't wait to, uh, to play it and uh, test it out against my... Um, 1967 UK pressing, so that would be that was probably one of the find probably the find of the day. And one of my other local record stores was not participating in Record Store Day in terms of the releases, but they kind of hosted a mini um, record show. the uh, The record store is kind of like in a house that they transformed into a record store. And then in the backyard, they had other sellers come and set up tents. And um, 
to set up records and like you know kind of more antique kind of stuff um so that was pretty cool and ended up getting two items here i ended up getting a revolver this is a u.s pressing from 1969 and the thing that kind of caught my eye right away is this kind of black border around around the top and then i noticed i had the three a dashed indicating a uh, a record club uh, pressing so the only question was is the label going to be on the lime green or just the uh, the standard rainbow capital and it turned out to be the lime green label and uh, you can also denote if this is a uh, record club pressing by the matrix number on the uh, on the uh, on the label has an eight in the middle instead of an x so that was pretty cool Let's see, this is a, uh, yeah, so that was a pretty good find. Uh, I was pretty happy with that. The seller was fair on the price. I think I got it for like $25 or so. So some of these can get kind of pricey, the record club pressings. So I was pretty happy with that find. And then this one was the next one in the final purchase. Uh, I got a CD, and when I initially picked it out, on the side here, it looks like the Ringo Starr's Vertical Man CD. But then I took a closer look to it, and it was um, it's called a VHI Storytellers, Ringo Starr's first music. So I didn't really know what this was, so I looked it up, and it's Ringo performing um, some songs live in promotion for the Vertical Man album. So, I mean, this is released by Mercury. This is an official release, um, things like that. This came out in 1998. And, um, yeah, I thought it was just interesting. Um, comes with a little booklet or a little fold-out, really. So I never really seen this CD before. So when I saw it was kind of like an official uh, pressing, I decided to pick it up. So it kind of folds out like that. Has some notes and things of that nature inside. And this is the actual uh, CD. Kind of a cool. There. And then there's the back where the CD comes out. So I'm pretty sure all these songs are performed live. And we have, with a little help from my friends, It Don't Come Easy, I Was Walking, Don't Pass Me By, Back Off, Boogaloo, King of Broken Hearts, Octopus's Garden, Photograph, La Di Da, What in the World, Love Me Do, with a little help from my friends, Reprise, and then I've Got Blisters, which is an 18-second uh, bit, I guess, so that'll be interesting to listen to, and then The End, which is a four-second track. So I'm kind of interested to, to play this one see how it sounds so again it's a promotion for the vertical man uh album so this might be an interesting uh, interesting play so that's all the all the finds i have for right now and then for the john lennon box set i pretty much kind of gave up on that <laughs> on record store day because i saw all the prices on ebay some are like actually selling for 700 plus dollars People are actually getting that, which is kind of crazy. So, like, my last final hope would be once the um, release got put on Discogs, that some record stores would put it out for retail price around the thing was like around three hundred seventy-five dollar range. And once it um, got its release on Discogs, I kept like refreshing, and like a couple of sellers like had it for like six hundred dollars. So after. Record store day was done. I kind of gave given up on the John Lennon box set, but this morning I kept refreshing, and there was one for sale from a record store that was pretty much right around retail, just probably about ten fifteen dollars more. And I decided to uh, that this was probably going to be my only time to get it for a fair price, so I kind of bit the bullet and bought it. So that one should be on its way uh, in the mail. So I was very very pleased for this record store day and I think I'm going to have to be doing uh, a good bit of uh, yard work 
and uh, to pay back all for all this stuff. But I think it was, I think it was worth it. And then I'm glad I waited for the John Lennon box set as uh, much as I get, much as I did. So I'm glad that all worked out well. And then once I get all these record store day releases from all the solo, solo Beatles, I'll sure to make a video of that um, when I get it. So I do have plans to make one more Beatles uh, update video. And then, like I said, I spent a good bit uh, this record store day. So I don't know how much new Beatles stuff I'll be getting in the next couple months or so. So I'm going to try to have to put out some different videos. So be on the lookout for those. I'll try to think of some up ideas. But the good thing is I'll be done with school in a couple weeks. So I'll be back home and hopefully I can do some other ideas, maybe some more ranking videos or just kind of themed videos I can, I can do. So if you have any ideas of what you want to see once I'm back home, just let me know. And um, again, I'll make sure to post a video of all the Record Store Day items that I didn't get to show today. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed some, uh, some different uh, albums, uh, not necessarily Record Store Day releases, but some records I did get on Record Store Day. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for other videos.